With inflation at a high and the stock market trading a little bit lower, investors are looking for conservative investment options, something more stable, something that can help them during times of high inflation. Today, we're going to go over I-bonds. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mal Livodi with FinanciallyPresent.com, your one-stop shop for financial and investment education. And today we're going to go over an old but recently popular investment called an I-bond. Inflation right now is at the highest it's been in 40 years, 8.6%, and that's according to the Consumer Price Index. And it's slated to go a little bit higher, but the government is scrambling to do what it can, what it can to bring that inflation rate down to about 2%. In the meantime, there are investments that are available that can allow you to still gain some income and not lose the value due to inflation. If you're comfortable with investing in something that is long-term and at a fixed rate, there is a chance that I-bonds may be a good option for you. But I want you to remember four things. I-bonds are special in such a way that their interest rate is adjusted every six months. So every May and every November, you will see a new rate that's available. Right now, it's 9.62%. It's an unprecedented high amount. Number one, where you can find them. You can only find them at treasurydirect.gov. You cannot buy it at your stockbroker or your investment advisor. You can only get I-bonds with Treasury Direct because it's issued directly from the government. No second parties or third parties or anyone else. The interest rate of an I-bond is comprised of the fixed rate that's set by the government. That's not gonna change. And then there's the variable rate that's based off of the consumer price index, the CPI. So that's what changes. Number two, there is a purchase limit. You can only buy up to $10,000 worth of an I-bond every year per social security number. So you can only buy up to 10,000, but if you wanted to buy more, it would mean you'd need to receive a tax refund and use that money to purchase up to 5,000. But for most people, you can, you'd be limited to the 10,000. Number three, the restrictions. There are some restrictions, they're not crazy bad, but again, this is designed to be a long-term investment. You have to hold an I-bond at least for 12 months or a year. And if you sell it within less than five years, then you do have to return three months of interest. So for example, if you bought it and held it for 24 months, you would have to, or you would only receive interest for the first 21 months. And number four, taxes. You are taxed on the federal level for I-bonds. The only exception is if you use this money for educational purposes only, then generally you do not have to pay taxes. So what do you think? Is this something designed for you? Do you think you can hold on to it long enough to really take the benefits of this? Remember, you can only get these at treasurydirect.com and they're designed to be a long-term investment. If this video was helpful for you, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the page, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, Stay present.